What's up guys, I'm Dr. P and here are 7 secret shortcuts you need to know on the new Rocket Racing maps to get more wins and to rank up fast. Starting off with Jackrabbit and starting off pretty simple, near the beginning of the track there is a bridge and shortly after you get off that bridge, there's an opening there between some rocks. If you slide right through, it's pretty simple to just flip back over to the left and back down onto the ground. A little bit further down the track on Jackrabbit, the very same map, you will see a booster here on the right side off the track. Hit that boost pad, continue off road, and then begin to drift and then jump. You gotta jump pretty soon here. If you do this correctly, you will cut a massive corner, allowing you a lot of time to get ahead there. I found that it's a lot harder to actually hit this landing. If you struggle with hitting the landing once you get to the other side, just activate a boost. Here we are on Tri-City. This one is also right at the start. Once you get over this initial hill, you will see a boost pad there off road on the right side. This is where it can get tricky though, so make sure you hit that boost pad and then prepare to get on one of the walls as fast as you can to take advantage of the boost pads there as well to finish off this combo. There are boost pads on the right and the left. It's pretty difficult to hit the right side. The left is a lot easier, but really both ways, you're going to get a solid boost and to me are just as good. So just go with whatever seems more comfortable to you. That brings us to Slap Happy and this one's got a load of shortcuts in it so listen up near the start you'll see a long twisting road and once you get to the top of it you can use a shortcut on the left side to fly either above or through these buildings which would give you a much more direct path you can activate your boost in this process and it is just gonna save a ton of time compared to the average person if you're really bold there is a shortcut immediately following this one but for this I would recommend having two boosts unless you just want to not use one on the first part of the shortcut cut but either way I would recommend boosts for both of these especially in rapid succession after you're done with the first part of the shortcut you'll notice a road that starts to bend and go upward start drifting here once you're about halfway up the hill jump it's going to reposition your camera you got to figure it out on the fly from here as soon as you can book it straight to the checkpoint marker and this is where the boost is so helpful because along the way you're gonna have to start grabbing walls and such and really most times I don't know how good this will be without a boost but I also recommend a boost for the first one even though it's not necessarily needed again for both of these in rapid succession I would recommend saving at least two boosts towards the end of the track there's a pretty simple shortcut where you can go either above or through a building yet again off the left side of the track to save a considerable amount of time and really if you use a boost after this as well you'll have a real direction shot real quick approach to the finish line which could be the difference in you winning or losing next up we've got delirium and this is really a mess to navigate at first because half the map is upside down half of it is upright who really knows what's going on your first playthrough so this is going to be really helpful on the second winding road where it's upside down there will be a checkpoint area right here once you pass the checkpoint you can actually jump out fly with the skyscrapers to the left come back under the track and finish up there hit a boost and boom you are off to the races if you made it to the end be sure to give me a like and comment the word soggy down below see ya